Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today we're going to talk about MGB cooling systems. We were going to talk about batteries because Greg's mom went to the Mr. Battery and they put it on the meter and it said bad, which the meter always says at Mr. Battery. But instead, since I didn't have a battery, we're going to talk about cooling systems. Let's take a look at this one. This is a 1976 MGB, but you know, they're all pretty much the same. As the water in the engine heats up, the thermostat opens and the water comes out and goes into the top of the radiator and then through the radiator to cool. It's drawn up off the radiator over on this side from the bottom of the radiator up into the water pump and pushed back into the head. So it's a real simple system. It heats up, the thermostat opens, the water comes out, goes through the radiator down to the bottom of the radiator, gets sucked off the bottom of the radiator by the, by the water pump, pushed it into the block. Right Now we also have a heater back here, the valve on the side of the engine, which is faulty, which is why that prompts this video today. Um, anyway, we're going to change the heater control valve. Um, the hot water comes out of the cylinder head into the heater and out of the heater down here into the water pump and gets blown back into the block. Remember that the thermostat controls the bottom end of the temperature range, not the top end. And for most of us, most of the time, at least here in the northern climates, we like a 195 degree thermostat. The hotter the engine is, the happier it is. I know some of you in Florida and more southern climates run without a thermostat, which I think is a bad idea, but I'm not down there, so I don't know. You'll have to ask Glenn at Glenn's MG service about uh, stuff in Florida. I, I don't know. There's some bizarre stuff that can happen to cooling systems. Um, so let's go to the table and take a look at some unusual stuff that we've found. So let's take a look at some unusual things that can possibly happen. First of all, the water pumps. Now water pumps hardly ever go bad, right? But once in a blue moon, look at this. You can turn the front, but the impeller didn't turn. Okay, very, very unusual. But not so unusual that I don't have another example of the same. This one is broken. See, there, a nut or bolt fell down inside the block when, when uh, some uh, pretend mechanic was working on the thermostat. It jammed the impeller, and uh, so this this free wheels from the uh, from the front. Another one, bizarre, no impeller. How about that? This was an overheated car, and this this engine was almost on fire. I remember this one. Uh, but these are very, very unusual circumstances. The most common one is that the is that the impeller comes loose. See how the bearing has failed in here. And when these things run with a bad uh, with a bad bearing, that sounds like there's a, a can of gravel out here. You take a hold of the front pulley and you wiggle, and you can see that there's a, a problem because this whole thing is shaking around. Now sometimes it shakes real badly and doesn't leak. Sometimes it leaks out the hole in the bottom and doesn't shake. But if it leaks or if it's, if it's loose, it's faulty. Another real unusual one that we had one time, I don't know if you can see this. See how this is all cracked here? This is off a late, late Model B, but very, very unusual. I got another real unusual one too here, but I had to bring a lamp here so you can see it. See how, that, how the, the hole is... Uh, there. So we had a, what appeared to be a leaking thermostat housing, but it wasn't. Heater control valves usually leak, but if they sit for too long, look what happens to the inside of them. They, they completely sludge up. That one's opened up a little bit here, but look at this thing. This is completely sludged up here. So no matter how you turn the valve, it, was, it certainly would pass no, uh, no hot water. Now thermostats, the one that we took out of the car that we just showed you, look at how pretty this guy looks, huh? All that crud on top. And I, I think it was stuck closed. At least that's why we've changed it. Sometimes though they stick open. Look at this one. You can see this one is, is stuck open. Anyway, that's the, that's the scoop. Um, I hope I've showed you a little bit about the cooling system and the water comes out of the top of the engine into the top of the radiator. I forgot to tell you, you can, you can tell if your radiator is good or not by putting your hand across the front of the radiator as the engine's running. And if you feel a strip, which is stone cold in comparison with the rest of the radiator, you know that some of the tubes are blocked up. 
So that's the scoop. Cooling systems are pretty easy. Thermostats control the bottom end of the temperature range. And uh, maybe Monday when we come back after Greg's mom is, is recovered from a new battery purchase, uh, we'll talk more about batteries, which are the most oversold part of your car. Thanks a lot. See you later.